Okay, well, we're on our way to Hadley Castle. The weather's got all come over, all misty at the moment, which is, uh, for what we want, it's quite good. I'm not gonna be there that early. It's gonna be after sunrise when I actually arrive because I couldn't be bothered to get up early. And the sun, I know where the sun actually positions itself today and where I actually want the shot to take the shot from. So, off we go. Hopefully it'll be okay. It's a wet and misty morning, but nice and moody and especially good when you're walking around a spooky old castle. So I'll turn the video back on once we get to Hadley Castle. We'll have to march up the hill and I'll speak to you then. Okay, well we're at the castle. As you can see, it's a complete whiteout. Uh, but we'll go up to the castle and see. You never know, we could be lucky. There could be a glorious breakthrough in sunshine coming through at any minute now. And I think if you look there, I think a pig just flew across, just past that tree, at about 16, 17 foot. So, we're actually in the castle sort of centre of the castle now. If I just turn round, you can see the tower over there and the remnants of the castle. Okay, the camera's set up. Um, as you can see, the weather's not exactly cooperating. It's come down in a blanket fog. What I was looking for was the sun. The sun actually rises over us behind me, but when it gets up at a certain level, it'll shine through the back of the tower, which you may or may not be able to see. You'll probably see it as a shadow. Um, that's probably not for about another 20 minutes yet, so I'm just going to hang on and see what happens. It may clear, it may not. Well, we managed to have a bit of luck. The sun cleared for a f probably three or four minutes, maybe five minutes. Uh, so I've got a couple of shots off with Ektar 100, with the sun actually behind the tower and, and sort of backlighting the tower. In fact, some of the light actually came through one of the slot windows that's in the tower. I managed to get another couple of shots off with HP4, but really the light had gone by then. But then it's descended, the fog's descended down as it is, stands now. So, you know, I'm going to give it another few minutes and just see where we go, but it doesn't look as it's going to come up, it's going to lift again. But make it a couple of good images out of it, we'll see once the film's developed. Well, it looks as like I'm going to pack up now. I can't see the weather's going to get much better or that this fog or mist or fog is going to lift. But I'll just give you a quick rundown of where we are. Where we are. This is Hadley Castle, which is in Essex. It's on the Thames Estuary. The Thames is actually running along over there. Um, it was built around about, it was built over a few hundred years, over 150 years from sort of 1200 to 1340 or something. Now, <clears throat> very nice castle, must have been lovely when it was built. They made the mistake though of building it on a hill, the hill that runs down to the Thames, that, to the Thames itself over there. And unfortunately, at some point, the whole half of the castle disappeared down the hill. There was a mudslide or a landslide, whatever. So half of it went, and that's when it became disused. It's a National Trust um, property. You know, you, you're quite welcome to walk around it. I'm standing on part of the castle now. I think this was part of the keep. But it, it's a nice place, good place for photography, and I'd recommend it to anyone. On the way back to the car now. Um, this weather's not going to lift. It's, it's too far down. The clouds have dropped right down. Might lift this afternoon, but definitely not this morning. It's about 10 o'clock. Still got a couple of images when it did lift for a few minutes um, on Ektar 100. There was a couple of black and white images as well, but I believe the Ektar 100 images will be the better image. Uh, only trouble with Ektar is once you get it developed 
and it's scanned, you can have problems with actually getting the colour right, which has been an issue I've had on a couple of occasions. Not with every negative, just on a few. I don't know why it happens. Some of them just turn out to be so difficult to get the colour right. But hopefully we won't have that um, problem with these images we've taken this morning. And it's really cold now. There's two monkeys just run past over there with their hands between their legs. That's how cold it is. So I'm on my way back to the car. Uh, gonna go around my mum's, who lives around the corner, having a nice cup of tea and some toast. I'll put the images that I have taken on this video once I come back from the uh, shop.